Hey guys, in today's Logic Pro X quick tip video, I'm gonna show you how to manage the pre-roll settings in your session. So what a pre-roll is, so say I wanna start recording on measure 665 right here. When I push R, which is the shortcut for record or hit record up here, see how it jumps back to measure 664 and then starts recording at 665? If you want to change that, you go to File, Project Settings, recording. So you want to count in for how many bars. Do you want none, one, two, three, four, five, or six bars? You're not really going to need to go further than that. Or you can go into like quarter note, half note, and stuff like that if you really want to get crazy. Most of the time, you're either going to use none, one, or two. So when I'm doing like a voiceover thing, like for YouTube videos, I actually have this set to none because if I want to record here, I want to just hit R and it starts recording right there. That's definitely the easier way to do it. But when I'm tracking, I want to have this set to one or two bars. So if I have it set to two bars, it'll go back and I want to start recording on 665, it'll go to 663. See, so it'll have all this time so I can listen to the track and then it'll start recording right here. Does that make sense? So just a super quick little tip to help your session, especially if you have like a singer who needs to find their place, you know, and they don't want to just listen one bar and then start recording. They might want to listen to four bars and start recording. It just makes it a little bit easier. So just a quick tip. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe to see more quick tips like this in the future. I try to post a Logic Pro quick tip that only lasts about one to two minutes to explain every Friday or Saturday. Check out some of my other Logic Pro X videos by clicking the playlist on the screen. Also check out my playlist of how I run an entire show using Logic Pro X by clicking that playlist as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time.